And a warm welcome from a venue that really oozes football history. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro in Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Inter up against Milan. Well, Derek, there's still a lot to play for. Yes, Inter dominated the first game, but if they concede early today, we could be in for a great tie here. Inter. Matteo Darmian starts alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Martinez. Perfect challenge. Olivier Giroud. Benassa. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And teammates around him. Has a go! Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez not least because he can be so effective Stuart what do you think we might see from him in this game I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best he glides past defenders he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space he can pick out a pass he can wriggle out tight situations he's the most creative player on the field today oh it's developing nicely for them here Mkhitaryan Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. There's a long time to go in this game. and straight into the wall. Yeah. 
Well, opting for the short corner. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And the press is on. Chananoru. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Will it be Lukaku? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Convincing looking aggregate score of 3 0. <laughs> Martinez, really good challenge. He has teammates around him. Oh, what an opportunity! Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Oh, no let up, plenty of pressure. Possession given away, unfortunately. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And the early shower, this is going to be a real test of their metal. Well, it's a straight red and rightly so, but how will they replace him? They've got to reorganise now. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Sadly, you've got to say, it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. Nice and easy for the keeper. Wasteful from Milan. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Just the challenge that was required. This might be ideal for the counter. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And the ball back with Milan now. Rade Krunic. Benassa. Giroud. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Into the advanced position. Alessandro Bastoni. For Inter, ball lost. He's in here. 
Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Barella went in strongly, decisively. Can he put it away? A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. So the aggregate advantage, 3-1. And there we have it, the first half comes to an end here. At... And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Good work from Milan to make sure possession changed hands. Bastoni. Determined defending. An example of how to press. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? It should be! Still possibilities. Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, what a brilliant save that was. How did he keep that out? Well, they can't exhale just yet. Here they come again. Will it be? And hit with ferocity. It was close, but not quite good enough. Can he find the right pass? Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. And it is a booking and their approach is nothing short of feisty. Well, they have to keep their discipline here. They can't afford to lose another player. Mkhitaryan, Henrik Mkhitaryan! Oh, crucial tackle, brilliant! Good technique displayed, but nothing comes of it. Mkhitaryan. And into the last 30 minutes now. Teo Hernandez, Rade Krunic, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Matteo Damian, Barella, a good effective pressure high up the pitch, and a fine tackle.
Krunic. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Giroud. Giroud. Well, giving it a go in a bid to hold them back into this one. Well, they're knocking at the door here, but they need to score soon. intercepted it and teammates around him Barella Mkhitaryan now with Barella oh surely was an important piece of defending Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Martinez, just the challenge that was required. Difficult to stop him. Firing it towards goal. Superb block. Zero! Well, when you're trailing by a couple of goals, there's no margin for error. Well, you can't miss those sort of chances. That was their ticket back into the game. Well, he needs to be careful here. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. He's in behind. And given away by Milan. He has teammates around him. Lukaku. Well, could be in hot water here, booked already, and he is going to pay the ultimate price. Well, when you're on a yellow card, it was a silly challenge. He just lost his discipline there. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Bastoni. And he stopped them in their tracks. And now it is truly final in more ways than one. Inter are going to the final. Yeah, they were decent over the two games. They created lots of chances, they played with great energy and they had a well-structured game plan. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round.